So let's do a second exercise. It's chapter six, exercise 22. So, and let's do the exercise. So that exercise uses legs and other types of relationships. I will be just uh, to clarify because uh, when you look at exercise like that, usually, usually the problem is to identify the type of relationship because the arrow sometimes is a little bit confused to, to, to understand. So what I will be doing now is trying to, to show you how I will be showing and reinforcing the type of relationship in the, uh, in the test, in the, in the exam, okay? So that relationship, let's talk the first relationship here. You can see that we have, that line is connected to the start, connect to the start of activity B. So that is a start to start relationship. So in the test, I will show in the, the, the arrow and put a symbol, S, S for start to start and putting the leg with a plus sign. It's, it's more like what we do in the MS project. The only difference in the MS project that you, when you are filling out the columns, is that before the, before the, the, the relationship, you put the number of the previous cells. In that case, would be the number of the line of activity A. You put here the number of the line of activity A, SS plus two in the line uh, of activity B. That's how we do in the Microsoft project, okay? So let's see the other activities here. Let's see the other activities. So for that one over here is finish to start. Finish to start, we don't need to put that because it's the default. Every time that we we don't uh, the default relationship. So we don't need to put that here. So usually you won't see anything is finish start unless you have a lag like here between activity C and F. So that one is finish to start plus five. Okay, finish to start plus five. Uh, the other activity, let's just remove that. So that here, let's just remove, so don't pollute there. And here we have another arrow connecting the start of activity D to activity E. And that is as well, because connect the start of two activity, start to start plus five. Then we have here, another relationship connecting the finish of activity D with the finish of activity E. And that is finish to finish relationship with a lag of one day. Ah, those are the, uh, the relationships that we have. The ones that we don't have any symbol because it is a finish to start without, without any lag. And look that we have the arrow and on the top of the arrow, you have a symbol that will indicate reinforcing the, the, the information about the relationship, okay? Uh, let's do that together and see how things work. Let's start with activity A, that is zero. Zero plus three, three. Activity B, when does activity B start? Well, activity B starts with activity A, but two days later. So it's the start of activity A plus two. In that case, the activity B will start on day two, okay? So activity B will be starting day two, has a duration of three, will be finished on day five. Activity C has a, fi a finish to start relationship with A. So that is just move the uh, early finish of activity A to the early start of activity C, three. The same thing for activity D. Activity D has a finish to start relationship with activity A. And therefore we just move the uh, early finish of activity A, that's become the early start of activity D. Okay, so three plus seven, 10. Three plus one, four. Let's see now activity E, activity E. Activity E is a little, have two, two conditions to start activity E. What are the conditions? We have to wait uh, B, B that finish on day five. And also there is a relationship that E should start five days after D starts. So five days after D starts is five plus three, eight. So we have a eight come from the relationship between E and D. And a five come from the relationship between E and B. Therefore, because it's a forward path, we take the longest, 
the longest, and you get eight. Okay, eight. So let's see activity. Activity is a little bit. We have done that before, but to finish activity, we have two conditions. Two conditions. What are the conditions? The first condition is to execute activity. We have to execute activity. So eight plus two, ten. That's the first condition. Ten. First condition. And the second condition, activity E must finish one day after activity D. One day after activity D is 11. So here we have two conditions. Because it is a forward path, forward path, we take the highest number and you put here 11. Activity F. Activity F has two conditions. One is a, a condition from the finish to start relationship with activity E. And in that uh, relationship, we have 11. But we have another condition, a finish to start relationship between F and C, in which we have a lag of 5. Means that we have finished to start by plus 5. So you take 4 plus 5, 9. And now we have two conditions, 11 and 9. And because it's a forward path, we take the longest, 11. 11 plus 2, 13. 13, 13 plus 1, 14. Question for you guys. What is the project duration? 14 days. 14 days. Yes, 14 days. Now let's do the backward path. The backward path, okay? The backward, we start with 14 and move back. So 14 minus 1, 13. So remember, in the, in the backward path, we start from the arrow to the beginning of the arrow. So we have to identify the beginning of the arrow, okay? So 13, so I move backward, and because it's a finish to start, the late start of the following active becomes the late finish of the predecessor. In that case, it's 13. 13 minus 2, 11. And again, we'll be moving 11 backward on the arrow. So between F and E, it's a finish to start, between F and C is a finish to start with a leg of 5. Therefore, we get 11 minus 5 means that we have 6. Okay? That's moving backwards. So, uh, 11 minus 2, 9. And here we have a relationship between E and B is a finish to start. We move 9 here. Okay, move 9 here. For the finish, the late finish for activity D, we have a relationship with, with E, that's a finish to finish, so you move 11, minus one, 11, minus 1, that is 10, so we have 10 over here. Okay, let's move forward, uh, backward. So 6 minus 1, minus one 5, 9 minus 3, 6. And now let's talk a little bit and put a deep thinking. Uh, on the late start for activity D. Late start for activity D. 10 minus 7, 3. But there is another condition. There is another condition for the late start of activity D. We have a, a relationship between the start of E with a leg of 5 and the, the start of D. So we take 9 plus 5, and that is 4. So 9 plus minus 5, 4, we have 3 and 4, because it's a backward path, backward path, it means that you take the lowest number, 3. Okay? Now, we move to activity, I move 5 and 3, so take the lowest, 3. So here, 6 minus, I have two conditions to the late start of A, two, that 6 minus 2 is 4. And another condition that is the duration of the activity that comes to 3, to 0. Between 0 and 4, the lowest one is 0. So come back here to the critical path. Let's try to put the critical path. So critical path, we go follow the zeros. So A, D. Now we move from here and F, 
And so it's important to note that the critical path, critical path is uh, A, D, E, but the E is just the finish of E, F, and G. Mirma, it is mandatory to write the finish in the bracket? Yes, because the start of E, you have a slack. It's not critical. You can start on day 8 or day 9, but you must finish by day 11. So the finish is critical, but the, the start has one day slack. Okay? Thank you for the questions.